Hello, I'm June, and today I'll be talking about bio-baked systems and circular economy and Earth observation and Blue Planet curriculum that I went to on Blue Tech Week. Our first speaker was Brian Bauer, and he is the co-founder, CEO, and the president at ReSynergy. ReSynergy is a company that designs and manufactures a system that converts waste plastic into usable products, such as diesel fuel. Their systems quickly and efficiently convert one kilogram of waste plastic into one liter of fuel. He said more than 160 million tons of plastics are produced every year, uh, but they're recycled at an annual rate of only 8.1 million tons. Most of the recycling today is mechanical recycling, and this recycling method makes very poor, poor products. So the purpose of this company is to bridge the gap in waste plastic cycling using otherwise waste plastics to produce high value fuels. The next speaker was Greg Murphy from Blue Nalu, at which the mission is to be the global leader in cell culture seafood, uh, providing consumers with great tasting, healthy, safe, and trusted products that support the sustainability and diversity of our ocean. He said carbon emission keeps going off from 1960. It's estimated that the global food system represents about one third of global emissions. So transition from red meat to blue foods can help regenerate ocean biodiversity. Uh, then what is cell culture seafood? Cell culture seafoods are protein source alternatives <clears throat> that can replace beef, pork, and lamb that produce a lot of carbon emissions. Uh, blue Nalu will produce cell culture seafood directly from real fish to complement wild caught and farm raised options. The seafood will taste, look, and perform the same as the highest quality conventional seafood products all without genetic modification and without being susceptible to mercury, microplastics, or other environmental contaminants. The next speaker was Sergio Gamberini, uh, who is the founder of Ocean Reef Group. The goal of Ocean Reef Group is to have a new way of agriculture in the water, in the water uh, because in some areas of our planet, the conventional agriculture is expensive and impossible due to the big difference in temperature during the day and at night. They use the Nemo's garden, which is an underwater lab to experiment the cultivation of vegetables into biosphere under the sea. In conclusion, he said plants are adapted to survive and grow underwater, so it's time for us to move forward for the future way of cultivation. The last speaker was Paolo Teixeira from Mycorina, which is a Swedish firm that create, creates nutritious fungi-based protein for food while avoiding industrial food loss. He said the population on earth is growing so fast and two thirds of world population is expected to live in water stress regions in the next five years. He also talked about the current climate impact of protein sources that Greg from Blue Nalu also talked about. Uh, there are sustainable protein alternative to meat and those are plants, cultured meat, fungi, insects, uh, bacteria and, and yeast. So the purpose of this company is to make sustainable innovation for the food industry for the future generation. Uh, the next session I went to was called Earth Observation and Blue Planet Curriculum. The first speaker was Ron, Ron Rosano, who is a student outreach coordinator at NASA. He talked about the new era of commercial space flight. The history of space flight started in 1961 to until now, and more than 600 people went to the space. Uh, in the future, more people will go to the space and students and researchers are getting more opportunities and inspiration for further research and advanced technology. Uh, the next speaker was Joel Scott and he works at NASA headquarters as a program scientist. He introduced the ocean biology and biogeochemistry program. He says STEM engagement is a critical piece of the NASA mission. It provides the opportunities for students and students and educators. He also introduced some ways to get involved with NASA by providing us some web websites. Some NASA internships were explained and NASA's applied remote sensing training program was introduced. So lastly, thank you to ESRM 462 and IRA committee for giving us the opportunity to get involved in the Blue Tech Week.